Hello, my name is Dante Renee, and welcome to the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, 1982's Black Candles, otherwise known as Hot Fantasies. This is the Code Red Blu-ray release of this extremely rare title that was previously only seen in really murky, horrible cuts uh, on VHS, and there's it's even been on YouTube a lot. Um, this is, look at that beautiful artwork. This is uh, from Code Red Blu-ray. Um, looks unbelievable. Uh, this is the back of the Blu-ray here. And uh, the, it says at the top, Sex and the Devil, A Wicked Combination. This is from 1982, and uh, this is uh, from, uh, directed from um, Jose Ramon Larez, La La I believe it's pronounced. Um, so let's get into this movie here. This is a brand new HD scan, um, just uh, freaking unbelievable looking. But this is Black Candles. 1982. Black Candles is a prime example of an erotic film, a sexploitation film, linking and connecting with horror, with predominantly the occult and supernatural horror. Now, this is something that is that is not, you know, foreign to to horror films or to erotic films having elements of horror. But I really believe that Black Candles is a beautiful example of how sex can can um, can be horror and how horror can be sex okay so uh, hopefully that's understandable there uh probably not but let's get into this film a little bit essentially what we have is we have um a sister and her boyfriend uh she wants to go visit her um sister-in-law's house her brother uh died and she's going there to visit in in um, in England, in London. And the movie was actually shot there in, in England. Um, so it's this beautiful uh, gothic mansion uh, in, in the middle of the woods, um, off the paths. Um, a long drive there. And this is where the story takes place as we bring in... Um, witches and black masses and devil worship and possession and uh, bestiality and incest and dreams and nightmares and possession ah yes even rape even sodomized rape and murder let's get into black candles 1982 if you are a fan of erotic films if you are a fan of sexploitation films if you are a fan of boundary breaking films dark films films that push the boundaries films um that it, uh, in some ways exist in their own genre in their own world um films that uh, live outside of the box of uh, decency and normalcy um and 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 cinematic conservatism well this black candles is for you and black candles is that place um so let's 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 get into this film first and foremost i want to talk about the music in this movie there is a piece of music in this film that sounds shockingly similar to bruno nicolai's um uh, one of the main themes in jess franco's a virgin among the living dead or uh, christine princess of eroticism which i've reviewed in this youtube page it's only in one section of the film and it's almost like uh, more tribalistic but it really sounds like that music now Throughout the rest of the film, we have very, very gothic um, sound design from uh, thunderstorms and rain and and uh, owls and 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 the sounds of the uh, of the castle at night. Um, we also have some sound design where there's silence, where there's no music at all. But when there is music. The music in this film is atonal, it is terrifying, 
It's oppressive, it's powerful, and it's very, very dark. Um, and it even has, some pieces of it even have little uh, hints of, of, of melody, but the melody is very, um, it exists in terror. It exists in darkness, and it's a very unique combination to have that. Um, the music in this film you could hear in a haunted house. You could hear this music. You could I, I could picture people playing this music on their front porch at Halloween. Um, and you know, if you were looking for a film that could be played during the Halloween season, that would also be a sex film. Black Candles also exists in that place to me. Um, the music is very, very dark and very uh, horrific horror music um, that exists in this movie's sexual being and world. Very, very interesting. Very, very unique. Uh, a combination where horror fans would be would be now met with sexuality and erotic fans would now met would now be met uh with horror uh, the horror black candles in terms of the style and the cinematography we really have some some wondrous things happening with lighting in this film and with angles in this film and some very um just very unique fades and edits uh there is uh you know the, 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 the shots of the mind, of what's happening inside of the mind. Um, you know, this is so unbelievable, but you know how typically sexploitation or erotic films have this kind of this haze over them, right? Well, this movie has that haze, but it also has gothic lighting and, 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 uh, and black candles. Um, and and gothic atmosphere and, and, and horrific atmosphere. So it's in the style of the film that you're really seeing the mesh, the perfect meshing of horror and sexploitation. Um, and uh, we just have these really professionally done, very, very uh, powerful shots. You know, this, this whole film has a very menacing, oppressive, powerful vibe to it, to me. It really has menace and, uh, it, it feels like a dangerous movie. It has that type of danger. There's even an actress in this film, uh, that was in, um, some Franco films, uh, The Sexual Story of O, which I've reviewed on this YouTube page, um, and also the film Night Has a Thousand Desires, which I've also reviewed on this YouTube page. So interesting, uh, with the Franco, um, with the Franco connections there. Um, now it says, by the way, that the music was done by Cam, C-A-M. Very, very interesting. You see that in the opening credits. What is that? And as a matter of fact, um... It, it, yeah, very, very interesting, especially in terms of, um, you know, hearing something that sounded like a Bruno Nicolai score. Um, but we have some really great angles in this movie, and we have um, some... There, there's this one shot where it kind of goes... Very, you know, there's some very weird and wild edits in this movie. Now, in terms of the sexuality of this film, this is a very, very sexual film, and it has um, very uh, sexual dialogue in the movie, too, or abrasive, vulgar dialogue uh, that you don't typically even see in sexploitation films. I mean, you would typically see them in an X-rated film, in an adult film. Um, but we have that, but we also have... Um, which which is seemingly simulated sex scenes in this film um, that are very explicit without being explicit, if you understand what I'm saying. But at the same time, we also have some hands going down to the uh, to the vagina. We have faces going down to um, the penis region or the vagina region. Uh, we have orgy sequences. Um, the sex scenes are they're they're very intense and they're very erotic and they're very um explicit again i say that without being explicit um this is uh it, it's a soft core film that is 
that has a hard vibe. Does that make sense to you? It's a softcore film that has a hard vibe to it. It's uh, the vibe is much harder than typical softcore films. Okay, now in in terms of you know the 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 sex is intertwined with the horror and with the storyline of horror. Um, we have. Uh, some some pieces of this film uh, reminded me of elements of of um, some popular occult films like Rosemary's Baby and The Exorcist, but not in the typical ways. Um, this is definitely an occult film, but a very unique occult film. Um, this is also a movie that has some interesting themes of uh, theology and uh, instinct versus uh, theology. Um, and... Um, and devil worship uh, and its connection to Christianity. A very interesting things going on here. And of course, um, some similar ideas, some similar vibes that you would see in a Franco film, which is being overpowered um, and being lured. Uh, the sound design lures the main character, but it also lures you into this, this nightmare sleep of the film. Um, in terms of the violence of the movie, um, there's really uh, there's a violent energy to the film without a doubt i mean there is actually a pretty intense uh rape scene in this film um that has a very bizarre aftermath should i say uh, but there was really one brutal scene of violence in this particular film um that is uh, quite a sight to behold and it involves blood and it involves a sword and it involves uh, just something, uh, again, that is boundary-breaking and something that you would not see at a horror film at your local uh, Cineplex in 2017, of course. Um, this film's sexuality also has an extremely disturbing and graphic uh, bestiality scene involving a goat. Um, and, and the language mixed in with that is just... It's, it's unbelievable. Um, there's even this very bizarre... Um, sex scene that happens after a previous sex scene with the same woman and a character laying on the bed and the bed shaking from the other guy having sex with her and what comes out of his mouth is so uh kind of a powerfully vulgar and, and, and interesting um the dialogue in here is uh is very dark and very abrasive also and it works perfectly in this film um this is a uh Black Candles also has an ending that is also, to me, uh, fascinating and very, very uh, uniquely interesting. Maybe the concept to some people would not be unique, but the way that it is done in this movie is, especially in light of the fact that as the ending goes on, I'm not giving anything away here, but as the ending goes on, you realize, oh, this is not maybe not as typical because maybe... It is. And I'm not going to say anything else about that, but it is. Um, so this is 1982's Black Candles. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, if you were looking for um, a film to play to uh, spook you and terrify you and scare you with its orgies um, and also a sexploitation erotic sexual film black candles is it thank you so much for watching the 10 room bizarre youtube page where i talk about films that i believe need to be talked about more like black candles from 1982 thank you and good night